Okay guys, so today we're checking out Japan's first unmanned convenience store powered by the Touch2Go technology. So it's real simple, three steps. Hairu, you enter the shop. Irabu, you choose your items. Deru, you get the hell out of there. <laughs> so it should be the most convenient, convenience store experience in Japan. On April 1st, 2021, popular convenience store chain Family Mart opened the first of a new line of unmanned stores on the ground floor of Sapia Tower just next to Tokyo Station. It's now taken convenience to such a high level that it will have you saying out loud, every life, every fun. When you enter the store, you'll pass through an electronic gate that will register that a new customer has begun shopping. After that, you'll get the same high level experience that Japanese convenience stores have become famous for. All the usual offerings are there, such as hot and cold drinks, bento and lunch food items, chocolate and snacks, as well as daily essentials like toothpaste, stockings, or a USB battery bank to keep your devices charged up. So it looks quite similar to a regular family mart, I think. Mm. But the shelves seem a little bit more like neatly stacked, mm. even though they're always neat anyway. But I've noticed they all have these like plastic uh, dividers. So I don't know if that's like for ease of like replacement or just to keep everything kind of like lined up super neat, but do you need any energy drinks? Yeah, I don't know. It's the middle of the day. I just had a coffee, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe not yet. Yeah. But yeah, I'll go for a maybe a nice onigiri. Just get the uh, shake, as always. Grilled salmon. What makes this store different from your average family mart, though, is actually an array of cameras located on the ceiling. Using a sophisticated AI program, the system is able to track a customer from the moment they enter the store and seemingly like magic, detect all the items they have picked up. When you approach the checkout, the intelligent system will know which of the potentially many customers you are and exactly what items you're holding. Whoa. Already? Whoa. Whoa, that's like magic. Yeah, look at that, it's orange shoes, on again, mask, 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 sneakers. So let's put it into English so you guys can understand what's going on. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it, reduce tax. Mm. Yeah, don't get any tax off the masks, it's a bit disappointing. <laughs> when it comes to payments, you have several options here, such as cash or credit card, but the most convenient option might be IC card. Using the same Suica or Pasmo card you use to ride the train, you can just quickly tap the card to the pad and be on your way. As these stores are marketed as unmanned, the idea will be to eventually install remote robot workers that the company has already trialed in its more standard stores. This would allow a human employee to remotely log in and control the robot for the purpose of restocking shelves during quiet periods and keeping the store ticking over. Yeah, so now I'm gonna do the experiment. I'm gonna walk inside the store, get three different items, proceed to the checkout, and see how long it takes. So let's get started. But how, how long did it take, Julian? Uh, it took you exactly 36 seconds, point 19. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was my quickest convenient experience. That was an express dash. That was good, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, it's, it's amazing, you know, like by the time I reached to the register, mm. they automatically calculate the total amount of the payment. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And quite <laughs> accurate, too. Yeah, yeah. So what did you actually buy? I got the pen. Okay. Uh, tea, mm. and it's like a chocolate bar. Oh, nice. So kind of a variety of different shapes and like exactly. types of items. Yeah, right? yeah. I was quite impressed by the image recognition. Mm -hmm. The you know it's super accurate. You know these all have like uh, different sizes and shapes. Yeah, yeah. But still, um, they got them right. So <laughs> yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah. Mm. 
wonder if this will become our new convenient experience in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope so. I mean, I, I hope this kind of thing becomes the standard in Japan. Mm. Uh, I mean, not only Japan, but hopefully in the world. <laughs> and that is the future of convenience stores in Japan. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Japan Pro for brand new videos every single week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video.